For the past 5 years, Team Fortress 2 has been plagued by bots, aka autonomous players that cheat. Some malicious people have been able to create thousands of bots and basically make the game unplayable for everyone. If you don't know, these bots basically walk around the map and aim bot killing everyone in their sight. They have inhumane reaction speeds which give you no chance to do something. Because of the outdated Valve anti-cheat inside of Team Fortress 2, most of these bots never get banned and haunt players 24-7. Not only that, they will spam the voice and text chat with malicious stuff. At times, the game was in such a bad spot that you wouldn't be able to play the game at all because bots would crash the servers. Back then, people organized an event called Save TF2 and it was successful. Valve said they will look into it. After two years of barely anything to directly address the problem, Team Fortress 2 is nowhere near being saved. Even after so long, the community stuck around and have been demanding some sort of a fix from Valve, the game's developers. While Valve has other bigger things going on like Steam, Counter-Strike 2, Steam Deck, their new game like uh, Deadlock and more, it doesn't give them any right to let one of their most successful game to be like this. Not only that, Valve has been adding workshop content as seasonal cases and uh, items to milk the game dry. It only makes sense that the player base expects some sort of an action by Valve to solve the cheating problem in Team Fortress 2. Valve is a really big gaming company that can easily spend some of its resources without giving up on any other things they're doing. That is why we are gathered once again to make our voices heard. If you wish to help out, first you can go over to the website save.tf and sign the petition. Then on June 3rd, the real thing starts. Head over to any social media and talk about it. Write about how bad the bot problem is in Team Fortress 2. TFD is one of the biggest games ever. So many people at one point in their lives have played this game. It only makes sense that these people when they hear about this, they will join us as well. Also, another thing you can do is to write a bad review on Steam. I mean, let's be honest to ourselves. We cannot recommend this game to anyone currently. While I can ramble about problems about Team Fortress 2 for multiple hours, I wanna talk about something else. For the second part of this video, I would like to talk about what this game means to me. Team Fortress 2 was one of the first multiplayer games I ever played. As a kid, I loved video games like any other child, but the games I played were actually pirated because I didn't know you had to purchase them. From playing games like Call of Duty, I learned about purchasing games since I couldn't access the multiplayer mode. Later, I discovered TF2, which at the time, it was free to play. I really loved playing Man vs. Machine and ended up playing TF2 more than any other game at that point. From there, I would play TF2 frequently, sometimes taking breaks now and then, but this game felt really special to me. It has graphics that are really appealing and the gameplay is extremely satisfying. The fact that this amazing game was completely free was a dream come true. Long story short, during the covid lockdowns I was depressed, I didn't know what I wanted to do in life, felt all alone and had many other problems. I seriously was thinking about ending my life. During this time I ended up playing Team Fortress 2 a lot. It was one of the few things I enjoyed at the time. While playing, I would record my gameplay. OBS has a feature called Replay Buffer, where you can save the last minute of a recording. I ended up collecting thousands of clips. Some of them were funny, silly Team Fortress 2 moments, and others were of me getting insane kills. Eventually, I started sharing them on this YouTube channel. I really wasn't expecting anything, but this video of mine called TF2 Source 2 ended up blowing up overnight. Ever since then, I have kept uploading various type of videos. Maybe at the time, this game and my channel were the only reasons why I decided to stick around longer. 
which eventually led me to decide I shouldn't end my life. Kinda stupid, but yeah, that is why TFT means a lot to me. It is the game that I played the most, probably after Minecraft. I had so much fun playing and gained many friends in this game. This is why I don't want this game to stay like this. I am not sure what I could do alone to help with anything and that is very calm. I have already accepted the fact that TF2 might never see the attention it deserves from Valve ever again, but it doesn't hurt to ask again. Valve definitely has the resources to fix this game, yet they limit themselves severely and focus on other things. TF2 doesn't make Valve insane amounts of money, but that shouldn't be the reason they should care. If so many people love Valve, it is because they were unique. They changed the gaming industry for better. They show that games can be completely free to play and still succeed. First person shooters can have proper stories. Still then, they made one of the best competitive FPS game. They created the best digital gaming platform that allows anyone to publish their game to the world. Steam Deck is easily the best PC gaming handheld and more. People know Valve for how passionate and innovative about their work. They rarely do stuff sloppily and rush things. And that is why it's a big question mark to why Valve doesn't care about TF2. Has Valve changed for the worst? Do they only care about the money? I cannot answer these questions myself. Only Valve can decide. Will they be the magical gaming studio that everyone loves or yet another money hungry corporation that only cares about maximizing their profits? It may sound kind of cringe, but I want to save this game that saved my life. I will never understand the people behind uh, hosting these bots. I actually do. I just don't want to believe that they enjoy ruining others' enjoyments out of the game. Obviously, TF2 is currently a free reign for anyone to cheat. I have even found out that some of my friends were cheating at the game. At times, I definitely felt like there was no hope for this game. Bot problem is only one of the problems this game has. It's definitely the biggest but I felt like the ship has been sinking for so long, maybe it already sank to the bottom. So from here, there's only up. We may not succeed, but we can at least say that we tried. So please sign the petition, talk about the game, leave a negative review on Steam. If you wish, you can also buy card by not purchasing items in TF2, uh, put a hashtag fix tf2 in your name share your own footage showing the bots and more the date for the new moment is june 3rd it is okay if you decide to start now but definitely be there on june 3rd to post hashtags on social media so it will be in the trending tab lastly the last save tf2 immediately ended after valve posted a tweet this time, let's keep the ball rolling. Let's keep going till Valve actually does something, not just some, uh, not just some uh, random tweet. I hope this video was more unique than other fixed TF3 videos. I didn't want to copy paste what other people have been telling. Neither do I want to milk the views from this event. I just want the old TF3 that I loved. Personally, I would like to thank great content creators who have been pretty much keeping this game alive for so long. They are real passionate about this game and it shows how dedicated they are to this. I would like to thank you too, who kept being around to play TF2 with me. I really appreciate it. Anyways, that's it. See you in an another video. Bye.